Um, so I'm actually walking to the trail cam to change out the SD card, see what we got over the last five days. All right, so here's the trail cam. Um, view here, I got the SD card. So we're gonna go see what's on that. It's, it's kind of exciting. I'm not a hunter, I'm not opposed. I just have too many other hobbies. And so um, certainly, certainly deer tracks. So we just got back from Minnesota after five days at the lake and came home to the water level after the pump has been running for five, almost six days. But as I had mentioned in the last video, when the pump is onto the pond, it's pulling all of the water pressure so that there's no water pressure in the house. So we're gonna have to temper that back a little bit so that we can flush the toilets. It's 518. Give thanks in all circumstances. All right, so here's the Here's where we stuck the, the drain tile and then we um, planted grass seed along that route. Some have taken, some the birds have eaten, some the sun has scorched, and some the weeds have choked. But um, there's something. We also haven't been watering it. Guys, look. We've got weeds. And so there's going to be a lot of fish hiding in there. It'll be hard to Get him out of there. It's going to hold some fish. It's probably come up four feet at least. Okay, time to go put structure in. So the PVC trees, I think the tops will be about five feet underwater, jig over top of those. Oh, we got a hot air balloon up there. Super calm evening. Just got done mixing cement. It's kind of hot and sweaty right now. Mixing quickcrete to fill cinder blocks for the, the weight for the trees. Super simple. This is nothing fancy. Cinder blocks, quick crete, four inch PVC, half inch poly tubing. Um, put a couple of these. We're not done. I just wanted to, if the water level is going to continue to rise, rather than getting in a canoe or a boat and dropping them, I'd rather put them exactly where I want them and uh, it's a lot less messy and I can be more precise because that is what I do. And then this cluster over here, put three of these jobbies together. Um, doubled up on that cinder block. That'll be, that'll be fun playground. Put your ice hole right over, right off of the edge of this. Not shooting fish in the barrel. Um, well, here's the irrigation, here's the irrigation tubes that we, that we buried. Um, they come out right here. This will be well underneath the water's edge um, by the time the water gets up that high. I'm going to take another water sample. Um, All right, guys, if you followed along um, in previous videos, um, you saw we took the water sample, the pH 
sample of the pond, I don't know, two weeks after it started holding water and it was about a nine on the pH scale, which is pretty basic alkaline. Um, on the high end, again, see if adding well water, five drops. Well, that's a lot better. It's a lot better than the dark blue that we got um, initially. Um, I didn't bring the card down here to the pond the edge, so I'll uh, give you an update on that. So, I don't know. It's not the greatest lighting here, but um, it looks to me like it's not quite seven and a half and it's not quite eight. I think it's somewhere in between seven and a half and eight. Definitely not nine. This will be the walking trail eventually, but view from the south side of the dam. Um, again, talked about the busted up driveway concrete chunks that um, we'll use to put out here in the pond. Um, the thought is we'll leave all the gnarly stuff over on the dam side because that's not quite as accessible um, fishing wise. If you're going to go seriously fish, you'll go fish on that side. If I uh, um, keep it a little bit more snag proof on the house side, more um, accommodating for for kids and um, I don't know, probably way overthinking it, but that's what I do. Decided that this slope needs some some cover with all of the derecho blowdowns. Um, we're going to plant some trees here and going to put some white pines and some maples and it's going to be really pretty. Kind of bringing north woods to Iowa. It's looking great. It's looking great. All right, guys, that is, I think, the, the last of the updates. Um, but um, hold on to the end of the video because I'm going to show you what I just found on that SD card. Thanks for the encouragement. Put comments down on the bottom. Suggestions that we could implement. Kind of making up as we go. What is on this guy? I'll show you in a second. After we got the, the whole board through and the, the pipes connected and the well um, bladder installed and all of the, the connections, here is the well pump. I'm gonna have to do some learning about what all of this means, but this is, that is the well pump that we put in a five horse, 35 gallon per minute. It's a three, uh, what is it? Three phase, three stage, three phase, um, which is supposed to be more efficient. And so, um, yeah, here's the, the four inch corrugated irrigation tube, which houses both the two inch um, water pipe with the, with the valve from the well and as well as this is going to be our conduit, our electrical conduit that will fish um, our electrical line all the way out for the circulating pump and the aeration pump. And um, there you have it. Fill the dirt all back in and put gravel and poured concrete to put it all back together. And stay tuned to the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.